Yo, what's up? It's Irie. So today I'm going to be going in depth about factions, basically. So if we're looking at factions, what we have here is there's different factions. We have our four emperors, seven warlords, pirate and government. Now, the reason this is important is because when you have five characters from a certain faction, you get bonuses. So, for example, say I wanted to use four emperors. No, you can't deploy the same hero. But there's my formation. This is what I get. Now, the better the better the faction, the better the bonuses you're gonna get. I'll keep that in mind. Now, if you also, if I was decided to do seven warlords, nope, hold on, warlords. My bad. <laughs> my bad. My bad. I stuttered. <clears throat> this is what I would get. 20 HP HP 22% attack 16 damage reduction plus three now what happens is that goes to everybody on the team and so if you were to ask me oh what faction has the best bonuses well I would tell you of course it's gonna be the four emperors because they get extra damage and their and their bonuses are higher but if you are a free-to-play character what I would recommend is to go with the pirate faction or the government faction if you can pull the government faction that's very you're very lucky but the pirate faction is easier to pull and i'll tell you guys why it's easier to pull if you look the newbie event if you buy this this is 19 dollars you're gonna get brook five star you stop you you soap <laughs> my bad i'm sorry you soap you're gonna get him for free just for logging in and then you're gonna get new word Zoro once you complete all three of this. So basically you just pay $19 for three five stars. But that's up to you. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. And then as well, if you go into story, if you go into story mode and you click main story bounty, you get a free Zoro, a free chopper, and a free Frank Frankie. Which those characters can be up to five stars. But rem reminder, they're not real five stars. So remember, real five stars are the ones that does don't have four abilities. They only have three. But the reason they're still useful is because you can go here, click pirate. You see, if I have four, if I had four, I could upgrade it to a fifth to a five star Zoro, and I could use that to get my six star Luffy, and etc. etc. Works for all. Works for all of the. Yeah. So, another way, another way that you can pull factions, say you go here, you click factions, and then you click this specific faction you want. Now, I don't have any factions on this to show you guys how this works. Let's look in the shop, see if I have some. Right, you know what, just for the video, I'll buy it. 750, right? Let's buy it. So, we go to faction summon, I can pick a faction of my choice. All right now, I don't have I'll just click summon, right? Once you summon, if you, you see how you got, two, I got 30 books. If you get 100 books, you can go here and you can switch to any faction you want. As long as they're a five-star character, they can be switched. Just remember that. So say I wanted to switch my cousin, but I wouldn't. That's not very smart. Say I wanted to get me off. I'll switch to a crocodile. Sometimes you are, sometimes you get the same thing, sometimes you won't get, you won't get better items. That's your memory. More ways, more ways to pull characters. You can go to story, go to voyage, and then go here. Do this, summon tickets. Just refresh if you see a summon ticket for, usually the highest they'll come is six. If you see six, click it. Do it. It's all you can either spend 60 gems to claim it quick or overnight. It's usually three to six hours. So you know you can log out, come back online, grab it, and then just go to tavern. Just do basic summon. Basic summon. They're useful. They're useful if you're pulling four star. You know, they're just it's just a good chance to try to pull something at least. Even if it's a two star basic summon, you're still getting break stars because what you do, go to HQ, go to retire put this on you see 
put it on, retire all two star hero and below. So once you're summoning, every time you pull a two star hero, it will automatically retire it for you. So that way, you don't have to do it yourself and you'll get the break stones, etc. etc. Now, now that we have went over factions, if let's go over formations. I'm just gonna go briefly into formation. So the formation that I have right here, the first formation, I believe it's the best one for when you're going one tank. This is just the basic formation, you know, one tank, two attackers, uh, you could say two supports, or a buffer and a supporter. Like a buffer would be um, Hancock, if you had her. Now this formation, I would use this formation basically when you have one supporter, if you have two people that are tank tank like or high hp characters so basically what i mean tank like is say i had my marco and i had my let's see nightmare luffy at the front because let me show you guys what it is, yes. nightmare luffy what he does you see they're both defensive characters so they won't die so easily because marco can revive he heals he does it all luffy he has taunt he has damage reduction so as you see that's why you put them in the front because there's people there's characters like ace jinbei i don't want to say megalin because i don't think he does but there's a lot of characters that attack the frontal line first and when you have like strong defensive character in the front that's a very good lineup right there if you're deciding to run two tanks and then you run like you know two high attackers you know saying so you run somebody like kuzin who can do AOE and then you run Whitebeard who does like 350 damage from he's third broken. Then this formation, I would re recommend this if you're just doing the basic one tank, one attack, three support. So say I also run Law. Law would heal. If I was to run Boa, she would charm and then say I'll run Ray Lynn. Ray Lynn would cancel healing and he also has high attacking. Or if I was to run Crocus. So I'll have two healers and then I'll have a debuffer and a buffer. You know what I'm saying? Basically, that's this for that's what this formation's for. Now look, Joy Boy attain a Jolly Rancher. Congratulations, bro. This this formation. Um the reason I wouldn't recommend this formation is because you have to remember though. The reason I wouldn't recommend this formation. Is because there's there's a thing called line attacks so if you face zoro exactly zoro has this ability which is a line attack so he attacks a line so you have to think if you're putting if i'm putting one tank here and a supporter behind my tank that's making it easy that's making it easier for somebody to attack my support and my tank even though he's attacking my tank still attacking my weaker defensive character that's but it would work it would work at end game because not most people are going to be running line attackers but you still have to think though what's smarter and what's not the last formation i haven't really had a chance to try this but when i'm looking at it when i'm looking at it i'm thinking that it's the best for one tank three attacker one support which is actually what i might start running actually because this is how i have my lineup I have one support, one tank, and three attackers. So I'm gonna actually run this lineup today and try it out. So let's put my characters in. Let's go see how this works. I'm not gonna, I will, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack. Let's see if I can find my friend. Hold up. Let's see. He's like the strongest in the arena right now. Which takes a long time. Okay, I'm gonna just attack Lance Main and we're just gonna watch it at. See how this formation works. You know what's crazy about this formation? The only issue with this formation, if I was to get line attack, it would go right to Zoro, Law, and Marcus. But the good thing about it though, is they're attacking my power. So that means only Kuzi. Formation I had earlier, I had 